So we're in the second round of the playoffs and the Toronto Maple Leafs and Pittsburgh Penguins decided to do a deal. We don't see it very often. I'm just going to go right into it and talk about just my reaction here and I'll probably go live after this to so look out for that. But the Toronto Maple Leafs trade Kapanen back to the Penguins. Kapanen came over to the Leafs in the Kessel trade so he was drafted by the Penguins. Just kind of looking at the overall deal here. The Leafs get the Pens first round pick. 15th overall. Evan Rodriguez, Philip Hollander, David Worsofsky. Uh, the Leafs also send over Aberg and Jesper Lindgren. Okay, so first, I think the center point of this deal is obviously Kapanen, and then you're getting a first round pick in the Leafs' perspective. Uh, the actual the Pens opted to keep this first round pick, and they gave the Wild the first round pick in 2021. So the Pens don't have a first round pick in the next two years. I think that's already suspect for some Pens fans. Um, and all you have to show for is Kapanen. Obviously, you got Zucker, so, but in this deal, Kapanen. And uh, you gave up Philip Hollander, who you just drafted in 2018. Uh, second round, uh, this is a guy who's 20 years old, SHL. Uh, it seems like he has some decent potential to be, whether it's a top nine forward or top six forward. He's got some strength. He's six one. Seems like he's actually responsible in his defensive zone. Can't say the same for Kapanen all the time. Uh, and I don't think it's a secret. I mean, I was kind of giving Kapanen the bye bye This guy looked like he was on summer vacation in the playoffs. Um, if I'm giving the potential for what he could do with the Pens, 25 goals, upwards of 60 points. I think he could find some structure with the Pens, with Crosby and Malkin over a Leafs team that seemed like they were just having a good time at some points. Like, I think a lot of people, if you go to hockey Twitter or if you just uh, talk to people in general, the Leafs got a little more loosey-goosey after Lamorello left and then after Babcock left. It just kind of uh, became more of what the players wanted to do and Kapanen seemed like he was just on a vacation when the playoffs uh, came for uh, this return to play. So at this moment, in the perspective of the Leafs, I think it's a good trade. It's a good value trade. Obviously, it comes down to what the Leafs do with that first round pick, 15th overall. If they can draft well, or on a different perspective, if they can go get maybe a defenseman, we don't know what they're going to do with that first round pick. But 15th overall, top 15 pick in a good draft. Uh, it's good value. And honestly, if you're looking at what the Leafs gave up past Kapanen, it's essentially just Kapanen in this deal. And I mean, Jesper Lindgren maybe could be underrated to become, I don't know, a depth piece. I don't know. But. In terms of Philip Hollander, he's got some potential. He's only 20, uh, and uh, he was drafted in the second round two years ago. So I like this trade for the Leafs. I think a lot of Pence fans are already getting big question marks on Twitter uh, going, what is this? Because the Pens are already struggling with cap. They got guys to re-sign. And I honestly thought if the Leafs and Pence were going to make a trade, it might be like a Matt Murray-Anderson swap. I know that's a hot take. We'll see if the Leafs trade Anderson. We'll see if the Pens trade Matt Murray. But overall, this is really interesting. And I'm probably going to go live to give more of my reaction. But overall, I mean, <laughs> I can't really give the Leafs a dub on this trade because we know the Leafs, Kapanen could go out and absolutely tear it with the Pens. So uh, we saw the Avalanche Leafs trade on the surface. And I'm going to make my point again on that is like, that wasn't a bad trade. And I give full credit to Dubis on this trade because Kapanen needed the bye bye. This guy was getting a little too comfortable. And maybe he turns it around with the Pens. But in terms of value back, you're getting a first round pick 15th overall and Phil Paulander. I don't think Evan Rodriguez stays, but I mean, you never know. Maybe the Leafs just give him an opportunity, but honestly, we'll see. But I think this is good value. Credits to Dubis back to like, like I said, the Kadri trade, you got the value back. Barry just underperformed in this trade. You're, you're not getting a guy that's going to under, underperform. You're getting the first round pick. You're getting 15th overall. And one thing I can say about Dubis and the staff of the Leafs, they draft well for the most part. I mean, Lilligren, I think, can still pan out. 17th overall. Sandine. We're talk when we, like, when we talk about in the 20s in a first round, and you're getting a guy like Sandine out of that, so, um, and then you get Nick Robertson in the second round. So the Leafs have drafted really well. I mean, when Dubas has come in and their staff in the last few years, they've drafted really well. So I would trust the Leafs with that 15th overall pick, but you never know. They could also flip that and maybe package it with a couple other pieces to get that defenseman that the Leaf fans have wanted for a while. Uh, that right shot defenseman, whether it's with Morgan Riley or Jake Muzzin, like Morgan Riley needs a consistent partner. So we'll see what happens with that as well. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Kapanen becomes the Penguin. Leafs get a return back. Bigger package here. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please smash the like button. This is John from Hot Take Hockey. Hope to see all of you soon. Peace out.